Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I am in my dining room to share with you a project which has been on my mind for a very long time. I added a chair rail with planking below it to the large blank wall behind the table and it instantly gave the space some character and I'm absolutely loving how it turned out. If you remember, this is how the room looked like before. But now it is looking like this without much effort at all. If you'd like to see how I did it, keep watching and I'll quickly walk you through the easy steps. I started with the chair rail. I picked up some three and a half inch molding that I liked. It has a nice flat top and a round bottom. It's actually primed MDF molding, which I had never used before and I thought I would give it a try and I really do like it. Before installing the molding, I painted it using my favorite semi-gloss white paint from Pittsburgh's Paint, which I pick up at Menards, and I gave the molding two coats. With the molding ready, I then measured and marked a line on my wall as a guide for where I wanted to place the molding. And then with a hammer and some finishing nails, I attached first one end of the molding and then the other side, uh, making sure I double checked along the way that everything was still level. I then installed a second piece of molding the same way. I then went back and added more nails along the length of both of the molding pieces until I felt like it was attached nicely. Then it was time to move on to the bottom section of the wall. I picked up some pine planking which comes in packages 8 feet long and are reversible. One side has your traditional beadboard pattern and the opposite has a flat surface. One edge has a tongue and the opposite has a groove, which makes installation very easy. I cut the planks into 38 and 3 quarter inch long sections and then started installing them onto the wall, starting in the corner and working my way along the wall. I did remove the baseboards before I started this step. To install the planks onto the wall, I used my brad nailer and 1 inch brad nails. Along the length of the wall, I had two outlets which I had to cut out, but that was about as tricky as it got. In total, I used six packages of the planking to cover the wall. One package covered approximately a section of 41 inches wide at the height that I needed. Once that was done, I moved on to the more time consuming finishing work. I started by sealing any gaps between the wall and the molding. I used a vinyl spackling by Red Devil, which I had on hand. I ran it along the edge of the top of the molding and then used a damp cloth to wipe off any excess. This gave the molding a nice crisp line. And then I moved on to filling in all the nail holes and seams. For this, I used Japs Dry Dex Spackle and Nail Hole Filler, which I had on hand. I'm not quite sure if that's exactly what you should use, but it seemed to work out just fine. Once it had dried, I used some fine grit sandpaper and I sanded it all nice and smooth. Then it was time to prime and paint. I gave the planks a coat of Bullseye Primer, which is my favorite primer. I will be sure to link this along with all the other products that I use in today's project if you're interested down in the description box. Once the primer was dry, I gave everything two coats of paint and I just used the same paint that I used earlier in this video on the molding. Once the paint was dry, I replaced the baseboards and my project was complete. I am absolutely loving how it all turned out. The wall above is still bare, but never fear, I am working on building something that is going to be hanging there, so stay tuned for that coming soon. In the meantime, I am enjoying the new look in my dining room very much. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I would love it if you could like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested, I will leave a link on the end screen for a similar video where I share how I built my wall cubbies that I have hanging in my kitchen, which are very popular here on my channel, so you can check that out if you'd like. Thanks so much for watching today, guys, and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye now!